Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Your Willy, also known as Iron Python, and I'm here to give you a tutorial on a plugin that we use called Deadbolt. Now, there isn't really a tutorial out there on YouTube on Deadbolt yet, so this is kind of a tutorial for you guys who want to use Deadbolt in your server as well. I won't be covering things like how to set up the config or install it, because that's fairly simple. It's pretty much the same routine as any other plugin, and they have a good description of it on the plugin forms. Um, I also won't be linking it down below, uh, but if you just go on Bucket and search for Deadbolt, one word, you'll find it there as well. Um, but I'm going to go over all the different things you can protect, the different ways you can protect them, um, as well as some cool tips and tricks that you can use with Deadbolt, as well as signs on our server. So definitely a good idea to watch this whole thing, even if you've seen my Locket tutorial. There's things that are different about Deadbolt that uh, you would be very interested to learn. Now, I'm going to cover it from the very basics. So, first off, the most commonly used thing for this is chest because you don't like people going into your stuff and stealing your items. I mean, who does? So, Deadbolt is perfect for this because all you do is you take a sign, which is what you use to protect all your stuff, and you just right click on the chest. I did, accidentally did it twice, so I opened it right afterwards. but that will protect your uh, chest. Now you can uh, apply it to any of the four sides of your chest, even the back, which is what I normally do because I don't like having the sign right in my face. So uh, if you put it in the back, it will kind of cover it a bit, especially if you put like a wall around it. It's a very good idea for hiding the sign just because of looks reasons. Um, now only you can open it up, you won't get any notifications or anything saying you unlocked your chest or anything annoying like that. Um, but nobody else will be able to, if they try to, it'll tell them you don't have permissions to open this chest. Now, or to use this. Now I'll uh, show you how to give people permission as well. I also wanted to mention that it works on double chest too, you only need one sign. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the side here. And that one sign will protect the full chest. You don't have to put a sign on each individual one, which is very useful, especially for uh, saving room and all that. Now, uh, if you want to add somebody as, you know, maybe you want your friend to help you out with this. Well, if you right click on the sign, it will give you a command saying that you've selected that sign and type in this command. So dead bolt the line number. Now line 1 is the private. Line 2 is where it says your username. So mine's is FE Python. Now I want line 3 or 4. So line 3 I'm going to have the Wombat of Doom who's a GM on our server. Oops. Spelled Deadbolt wrong. Sorry about that. And now I don't have to right click the sign again, I can just go ahead and go right back into typing for line 4 because you already have that sign selected. Until you select another sign or you log off, you'll continue selecting that one sign. Um, now I'm going to select Majestic Wind as well. So me, the Wombat of Doom, and Majestic Wind can all open up this uh, chest without any problems, it won't give them you have access once again because that's annoying so there's no features like that which is good um, now let's say you want to add more people well the sign can only fit three so you right click it again and it'll have a sign that says more users no one else so you right click this and deadbolt then as line I'm gonna go ahead and say line three because it really doesn't have to be in order or anything and bill Bill can also access this chest, including the two other people that I have allowed. So you can have as many people as you want as long as there's enough room on this. I think there's room for, I think, 16 people or something like that on a double chest. Uh, you really don't need that many people accessing your chest. Um, but if you had 16 people that you wanted, you can do that. Uh, it only doesn't only protect... Uh, uh, chest. It also protects a lot of other items. So I'm going to uh, restock my uh, signs here with this awesome chest full of signs. It will protect doors, which is very useful. Now on our server, we kind of suggest or strongly recommend allowing people to explore your homes because you know I build this. I like showing people things, but maybe there are certain rooms you don't want them to go into. 
certain room could be a room full of chests so you want to just protect the one door instead of all the chests or maybe it's an access to your mines or where your wheat farm is or whatever you can um, you can protect the door as well now there's a lot of different ways you can protect this door one is just right click on the door itself either the top half or the bottom half and you'll protect it you can also do it to the back of the door so here I'll go and click the top half of it now that's the easiest way because it automatically puts the information in for you I don't like that way personally because it looks ugly it, you have this sign on your door um, if you feel like you like that look you can do that but me personally I like putting it on top now you do have to type in uh, private <sighs> sorry about that I'm dyslexic so spelling is kinda hard especially when I'm talking at the same time and you could put your name the only reason you would put your name is if you also feel like putting other names on too so you could put your name here then like the Wombat of Doom then Majestic Wind and hit done and you just do it all at the same time no need to type in commands if you leave it blank though it'll automatically put your name on here now if it's not close enough to a uh, sign that you can like you know if if you put it here instead well there's nothing to protect so it'll just pop off the sign now you can also put it on the block below uh, more users because I still have that sign up there so once again you have to type in the more users command if you're doing it like this and you type in whatever you want now you can do it that way as well but why would you want to put one below what's the point of that it kinda looks bad well I'll show you a really cool use for that I'm gonna destroy that now I have a hole here under my wall I'm gonna put this here private and it went ahead and filled in the information for me and closed this now this so door is protected only I can go through it but nobody else sees this sign because there's no sign on the wall no sign in the door it looks really nice because it hides it from the prying eyes of whoever not that it really matters too much because they can't destroy the sign or anything anyways it's protected by not only destroying it's also protected by things like explosives and pistons and that kind of thing you don't have to worry about somebody figuring out a way of breaking the sign and getting into your stuff that way but it just looks clean now you can also do it to other things besides doors and chest you can do it to a furnace so you can put that just right click it once again any of the four sides will work top on it won't work or anything but the four sides of it will and there's a lot of cool things about this one nobody can steal your gold ingots or whatever that you've been smelting your coal but if you put a sign here any furnace that's touching one surface of it either the top or the side like this will also be protected all three of these even all four of these are all protected by this one sign so that's a uh, very convenient for that you can also do once again a little hidden thing you can hide it in the back here now all four of these furnaces are all protected by that one sign you don't have to put one on each one so it's very convenient for that now this one is protected by the wombat of doom as you can see he has three here now I can access it because I'm a GM but if I switch to Lord which on my server me switching to a Lord is me switching to kinda like what a player has the only difference is I can do a few reload commands and that kinda thing um, but other than that I have the same rights as every other user see access denied I can't open these chests because they're all protected by this one sign another thing is, is I can't let's say me and the Wombat of Doom both have build rights in this area. Well, I can't build a furnace touching his furnace, either on top or on the side. Um, even actually on back, it won't work. Because once again, any surface, including these, if I wanted one there, I could build one there. But um, it won't let me put this here. Why? Because it's my furnace, but it would be protected by him. So if it did allow me to place this, I wouldn't have access to it. That's not fair to me because I you know spent the cobblestone and time to make it so it prevents you from losing a furnace basically and giving it for free to someone else so that's a very useful feature as well especially since you don't have to waste a sign on each one of these you only have to do one sign now you can protect other things like dispensers for instance I'm gonna go ahead and get back here and put this on a dispenser now that means 
only I can get the arrows in here. No one else can open this up and steal the stuff from the dispenser besides me. Uh, also, trap drawers, if you wish to protect this, there's ways of doing it. You can put it on one of the three sides here. Now, you got to click the actual side of it, not on top. So if you click there, I'll put it on the side here. If I click on front, it'll put it on front. Restock. <laughs> now, um, that's very nice and all, but once again, it's kind of like the door. It's really in the way. Now, this stone block, the one that it's hinged on, so the one that it, the back goes to when it opens, you can put a sign here, and you got to type it out just like with the, uh, with the doors, but... You don't have to type in your name or anything, just private. And that will protect the trap door. And once again, you don't have this annoying sign right in your face, but this is still protected. So that's a convenient way of uh, protecting trap doors without having to, once again, have it visually shown. Now, there's other things you can protect. You can protect uh, gates for your sheep. So like, if you want to protect this, you can right click on there and that's now protected. You can also, um, if you felt like it, you could put it in front, like the block in front. And once again, you have to type it. Now, this is very useful, like I said, if you wanted to type in your name and then someone else. You could type all three names and it would add them all to the sign without having to right click it and do the uh, deadbolt command. So that's a very useful fact on that as well. Me personally, I like using doors into my barns, but you can protect um, it that way as well. And once again, you can put more users on the back if you wanted to. So there is an option for you. It also works on the new items, which are the uh, enchantment tables. Like let's say you went out there, you got the obsidian, you got the diamonds and books, you made a bookshelf room for it, that has the max amount of bookshelves you spend a lot of time on that you don't want Billy Joe Bob walking over here with his diamond sword or even a stone one for that matter right clicking it here and getting high enchantments off of the work that you've done well you could protect the room to go to here but maybe you don't want to maybe it's in your library and it's part of the look of your library well all you do is just slap a sign on there it can go on any of the four sides once again and only you can use this enchantment table. So you don't have to worry about someone else basically bumming off of the work that you've done. So that's very convenient. Now, this is a very useful thing to uh, protect because, you know, if you're like me and you like making a lot of potions, you'll have a couple of these running and you don't want to have to, like, fend off everyone with a sword that wanders into your room. So once again, you click on the lower side just like you did with the uh, trap door. And it'll put a sign protected by you, and you can put anyone else's name you want. And they're also connected, just like the furnaces are. So you can put them touching each other like this, or even in a box or whatever. And um, they, all of them will be protected by this one sign. So you don't have to worry about putting a sign on each one. It also works for cauldrons, like this one is protected by me. No one else can take the water from it besides me as well. Now, on our server, this isn't very useful unless you're using this for decoration because cauldrons, as you know, is only really used in the nether. And on our server, you can't put signs in the wild or in the nether. So you can't protect these on our servers uh, out there, but you can protect them in your own home. But if you're using this on your server and you allow signs out in the wild, you can, you, you can you know, tell people, hey, you can protect your cauldrons so no one else can steal your water when you're in hell. So that's, uh, that is a useful thing. And once again, it's connected by the sides. is uh, They're all connected, which is very useful. I'm going to show you what that is in a sec here because there's this really cool trick you can do. Um, I'll go ahead and do it on the gate here because most people put gates to protect you know, sheep or pigs or cows or whatever from escaping and someone else stealing them. All you do is you right-click it here and... I'm going to delete the Bob because I don't want him anymore to be able to access my sheep. So he's on line one, two, three. So hit line three, nothing else. Don't type anything else and enter. And it will remove line three. You can also type in for line four. Well, I don't want him either, but I also want to show that there's sheep here. So I'm going to just put that 
sheep, square. You don't need that. You can have it just say sheep, whatever. The only problem is if you put just sheep and someone logs onto your server named sheep, they can access the door. But I mean, what's the chances of someone named sheep going on your server? But either way, if you put characters like that, it would uh, prevent people named sheep from opening your door. And there you go. It's protected by me. It's labeled sheep. I can relabel it whenever I feel like it. Um, I can also color them, which is really useful. Coloring is the and symbol and a number between 1 and 9 or a letter between A and F. So for this one, I'm going to do 4. Now, I don't remember all the colors off the top of my head. That's kind of what that sign is I'm going to show you in a bit. Um, oh, line 4. I forgot to put that in. And But I'm just going to say line 4 and color it 4 and I shall call it sheep. And apparently 4 is red, so these are demon sheep, I guess. Um, but you can color different signs um, as well as your title. So deadbolt, line 2, and and 3. The owner of line 2 is not changeable, except for color. I guess it wouldn't let me do it. You can put that in beforehand if you feel like coloring the different labels. It won't let me do it afterwards, I guess. So sorry about that misconception. I've done it before, but that's because I was typing it out at the same time. But here is all the different colors. You can go ahead and test through them if you want, or you can pause the video now to see what all the different colors are. Now, I'm going to show you some cool tricks with the coloring, because you don't have to do it on Deadbolt. You can do it on normal signs on our server as well. So, and uh, three, hello world. Now I put a space in here before here and I also have another word here to show you what would happen and here let's go put a letter let's go and put the letter D and then let's go ahead and put the letter E and space and coloration 5 and here so on here we got a couple different things we have two words on this line we have one word on this line we have actually I will even do one word without a space between the coloration here we have no symbol before our hand and here we've got two different symbols this looks like that so hello world they're both the same color because they're all in the same line here it's only one color and even without a space it will still show the right color. Now here's the default color because it does it by line. So this one didn't affect this color, this color didn't affect this line. And this one has two different colors. So if you wanted to you could technically color every single letter individually. You just don't add a space in between because see I had to add a space in there or else the question mark would be at the end here as you can see there's a space between them. If I didn't have that space there, it would be hello or you with a question mark right afterwards like it should be. But you could color every single letter if you wanted to of every single line. Just realize that the character, the and symbol, and the number or letter that you pick does get added to the character limit of a line on a sign. So the more characters you have, the less space you have to actually write things. Um, but did want to point that out to you guys on our server as well as other servers who might have sign coloration plugins. Um, but the sign coloration for this is default on its own. I'm just going to go ahead and give this one more shot just because I feel bad about misleading you there. I was under the assumption that I could do it um, for a title of a person, but nope. Okay, so you can. I was right. You got to type it in before it gets put on the sign. If you, uh, Put it on afterwards, it won't let you do it to the primary user. It'll let you relabel it for line two and or sorry, three and four, but not line two. So I was slightly right. Sorry about the beginning misconception there, but I hope that this tutorial helped you. I try and go through every single thing in any of my tutorials, so I do realize it was a bit long, but there shouldn't be any questions. But if you do have some, comment below. I'll answer you as soon as I can, or ask me, <clears throat> sorry, sore throat. Ask me on the um, server, server links below, or on my form at andoria.crazyforus.com, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, I shall talk to you later. 
<clears throat> ah, my throat is really sore right now. I've been talking too long. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you guys uh, found this useful. I shall talk to you all later. This is Mr. Willie signing off. Adios.